joined by Tom Coyne, uh, best-selling author here of several different golf books. Tom, tell us a little bit about uh, what brings you to Northern Michigan these days. So I'm here in Northern Michigan working on my next book, A Course Called America. So I've done A Course Called Ireland, A Course Called Scotland. You know, I figured I know golf over there so well, but I don't really know golf in my own country. And so I said, all right, I'm going to go out. I'm going to play all 50 states. And I'd asked readers for recommendations of interesting places, you know, that were different or had something unique to offer. And a lot of people came back and they said, you gotta go to Forest Dunes. Um, and especially they said, you gotta play the loop, um, you know, a reversible golf course. So uh, I said, yeah, let's do it, absolutely. You know, it's uh, it's a little bit off the beaten path, but my gosh, it's, it's, it's been so worth it. It's been just an awesome business. You've been able to play both uh, routings of the loop and right. Forest Dunes as well. What were your thoughts of uh, what the reversible concept was coming in and then now that it, you've experienced it both ways? Yeah, so I, I think it's an awesome concept. So I was recently out in Oregon and played Silvis Valley where they have a reversible, but it's it's got 27 greens, so it's different than this. I mean, this is 18 greens, truly reversible. You you literally do a loop. So that was incredibly interesting to see that. But I, I, I love the concept. I wish more designers would consider it because I think, you know, getting two courses for one, right? Uh, you know, it solves a lot of golf's problems. Uh, you know, less inputs, less maintenance, less cost, less property, less water, all those things, and you get the two courses. So what's, I think the best thing about it as well is that both directions, they play completely differently. You know, it's not, you're not playing the same golf course uh, at all. And in fact, if you're not really paying attention, you wouldn't realize that, you know, if you turned around, you'd played that yesterday. So uh, I just love it. And I think this is, this is a place people really have to come and see. You've played all over Scotland and, and Europe or uh, Ireland as well. Um, uh, brown here uh, has a little bit different connotation to the, the general population of the golfer, but the conditioning you see here is how it was meant to be played, correct? Absolutely. I mean, this is, so we have fescue everywhere, firm and fast. <clears throat> I mean, this is the way golf, you know, as you're walking around, you can feel it under your feet. You know, it's got that thump to it. It's got the crunch in the grass. I mean, that's what golf in Scotland and Ireland feels like. Uh, that's where golf came from. You know, golf's meant to be played. You can play it along the ground. Uh, and that's what you can do here, you know, and you have to do on a lot of holes. You have to consider, you know, playing short, running your ball into greens. And that's just so fun to me. I think it, it you know, you get to use your imagination um, and it's not just target, target. Uh, and, you, and you get to kind of see, you know, what's gonna happen with my golf ball. You know, you don't know. It's a lot of times in target golf, when it leaves your hands, you know where it's going. Uh, and here, sometimes you're getting a kick here, a kick there, and it's just, that's just more fun. Tell us how uh, all the folks can follow along with your journey here uh, on social media. Yeah, absolutely. So you can follow me at CoinWriter, C-O-Y-N-E, on Instagram or Twitter. Um, I'm posting a lot of stuff there as I, you know, arrive daily into a new destination. But it was really nice to be actually be able to stay here uh, for two nights. The hospitality, the, you know, the villas, it was incredible. So it's a great place to drop out. Uh, so I, I hope everyone gets to come and experience it for sure. All right, thank you very much, Tom. We appreciate it. Thanks, Tom. Hey, everyone, this is Tom Coyne, and you're watching FDTV.